Recording in progress. Hello students, in continuation with my lecture series for your physics lab, let me today explain you diffraction grating. Please subscribe to the channel in order to get regular updates on your subject. Let us begin. Firstly, this is a dark room experiment in which our aim is or all the way what experiment we have come to do. The aim is to find the wavelength of the spectral lines which we will observe using plane transmission grating. So we have to find lambda. What apparatus do we require? We require a diffraction grating. Grating is just a plain glass plate with large number of lines ruled on it with the help of a diamond pencil. A spectrometer, that is spectrum plus meter, that is to take the readings, mercury vapor lamp, which will be our light source, condensing lenses, spirit level to check the leveling of the spectrometer and a reading lens because the verniers here, their divisions will be very small and we require a reading lens in order that we can read the minute divisions on the scale. Along with this, we also require a pencil torch. Let us begin. What formula are we going to use in this experiment? Our formula will be lambda is equal to a plus b into sine theta divided by n, where a plus b is the grating element, theta is my angle of diffraction and n is the order of the spectrum. Now, angle of diffraction theta is what we are going to find in the physics lab. A plus B, the grating element, will be mentioned on our grating. The grating will mention how many lines there are on this grating and A plus B will be equal to 2.54 divided by number of lines on the grating, where 2.54 is the conversion factor from inch to centimeter. In order to make the experiment easy, we will consider the first order of the spectrum, that is n equal to 1 we will put. So our formula will reduce to simply lambda equal to a plus b, that is the grating element, which is equal to 2.54 upon total number of lines on the grating into sine theta. That means the angle of diffraction which we are going to find in our experiment. So what is a grating? Grating consists of a large number of equidistant parallel slits of equal width. It is obtained by ruling parallel lines on the plain glass plate with the help of fine diamond pencil. When white light is incident on this grating, it will diffract it into its constituent wavelengths and we will get a spectrum consisting of series of spectral lines. Now, before we begin the experiment, the procedure here is that we first adjust our telescope with the help of Schuster's method. We level the prism table by using a spirit level. We adjust the collimator to check that the slit is uh, of equal intensity there. The grating has been arranged in line because we know that light travels in a straight line and light is falling properly on the grating or not. This is our apparatus. First, this is my prism table. This basically is a spectrometer. This is the collimator which is used to make the falling light rays parallel. This is my grating which has been mounted on the prism table of the spectrometer. And from here we will be seeing the various colors and take their readings from this vernier given here. There are two verniers. We can choose either one of them and all the readings we will be taking from 
one vernier. We are not going to change the verniers when we start taking the readings. So, telescope, eyepiece, collimator, angle, you read it in degrees. It will be easy for you and your mercury vapor lamp. Now, let us begin the experiment. We will be taking the first order of the grating. First, we will find the least count of the spectrometer, which I have already explained you in the previous video where we have explained least count. In short, once again, I will tell you, least count is equal to value of one main scale division upon total divisions on the vernier scale. If we have a look at this spectrometer vernier, between 30 degree and 40 degree, there are 20 divisions. So, 20 divisions is equal to 10 degree. One division is equal to 10 degree upon 20 is equal to half degree. And total divisions here on this vernier are 60. The image this side has got cut. So the least count becomes 1 upon 2 divided by 60. That is 1 upon 120 degree is my least count. And the telescope reading will be equal to main scale reading plus vernier scale reading into least count. We will keep the least count here as 1 upon 20, 120 degree. The observation table which we will draw, the first column will consist of the order of the spectrum. In our case, we are reading the first order because first order spectrum gives us bright, sharp, well-defined colors which we can read. The higher the order of the spectrum, the intensity of the spectra gets minimized and it becomes difficult to take the reading. So we will take N equal to 1. Then the only those colors we will be reading, which we are able to see in the spectra. Suppose in my se spectrometer setup, I am not able to see green color. Then I will leave the readings of green color. Then I will read the telescope. It is consisting of two verniers. Any one vernier we will pick up for the whole experiment. Spectrum on the right hand side and spectrum on the left hand side. Their main scale, vernier scale. Total reading will be equal to main scale reading plus vernier scale into least count. We will subtract these two total readings in order to get two theta. And half of it will be theta and we will take sine of that theta and multiply it by 2.54 into uh, divided by total number of lines on the grating. Once we have set the spectrometer, let us begin. Suppose the very first color that is coming visible to us is violet. And this is the setup of my spectrometer. Then what? how will I take this reading for violet color? See, my main scale will be that reading which is coinciding with zero. So in this case, this is 60 degree here. This is 70. This is 80. So 60, this reading coinciding with zero is 58 degree. So main scale reading becomes equal to 58 degree plus the 22nd division of my vernier is coinciding or it is in line with the main scale. So 22 into 1 upon 120 degree. My total reading becomes equal to 58.183 degree for violet color. Now suppose blue color is the next color I am seeing on my spectrometer. So the again the color, reading for blue color I will note as main scale is one which is coinciding with zero. In this case it is 60 a bit blurred the image is coming because it has been taken in the lab. I have highlighted it with red color. 60 degree is the main scale. For vernier scale reading we will check which division is coming in straight line with main scale and vernier scale and the 
maybe further ahead, two, three divisions are coming in straight line. We will catch hold of the very first division, which according to our observation is in straight line, both in main scale and vernier scale. So according to me, the 30th division is coming in straight line. So my reading becomes main scale reading 60 degree plus vernier scale 30 degree 30th division into 1 upon 120 degree. So my reading is 60.25 degree. Next bluish green color. Again, I take up my main scale reading coinciding with 0 is 62 degree. And I can see that the 15th division is coming in straight line with the lower and upper scale. So my total reading is 62 degree plus 15 into 1 upon 120 degree. Next color green. Suppose this is my scale where the green color is observed. So what reading will I note? See, this is 70 if you can see and behind is 60. So uh, 61, 62, 63. My main scale reading becomes equal to 63 degree plus my 24th division is coinciding with lower and upper in a straight line. As I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 this way and the 24th division according to me is coming in straight line. Then 24 into 1 upon 120 degree. So the reading for green color is 63.2 degree. Now for yellow. In case my spectrometer is showing a clear demarcation of the two yellow colors. Yellow 1 and yellow 2. So my yellow 1 reading MSR 64 degree plus the very first zero is coinciding here. So zero into one upon 120 degrees equal to 64 degree. Next yellow two once again MSR is 64.5 degree and VSR the seventh division coinciding into least count. This way I take red color 65. Uh, 5 degrees coinciding on the 0 of MSR and 43rd division in coinciding with the lower and upper scale. So I get my reading. Now, similarly for the observation table, I will get a very similar spectra on the left hand side. Again, I will take the readings. Like for violet color on the left hand side, I am getting a main scale reading of 36 degree and my eighth division is coming in straight line with the lower and upper scale. So my reading becomes 36 plus 8 into 1 upon 120 degree. So this is equal to 36.006 degree. For blue color, it is 35 degree plus 14 into 1 upon 120 degree. This way, uh, my bluish green color main scale is 33.5 vernier the ninth division into 1 upon 120 degree. So 33.575. Green color, the main scale is 32 degree and the vernier is coinciding on the very first division. So 32 degrees my green color, yellow color. First yellow line is coming at 31 degree and the vernier is at 37th division into 1 upon 120 degree. The yellow second is coming at 30 degree main scale and the 40th division on the vernier into 1 upon 120 degree. For red color, 29.5 is my main scale and the vernier is coming on the 28th division. So 28 into 1 upon 120 degree. Now these readings I will note in my observation table C. For violet color the main scale was at 58.5. 22nd division of the vernier was coinciding. So total reading is 58.5 plus 22 into 1 upon 120 degree. 
this is the reading I had got on the left hand side of the vernia and for violet color the right hand side of the vernia my main scale reading was 36 degree and the eighth division was coinciding. So total reading is 36 plus 8 into 1 upon 120 degree. So the total reading comes out as 36.066. How much angle do I observe for violet color? One reading is coming on the left hand side, the other on the right hand side. I will subtract them to observe how much angle do I allot for violet color. So I will subtract 58.13 minus 36.066. That means 2 theta is equal to 22.117. Half of this angle, I get 11.05 degree. I will take sine of 11. 0 0.05 that is equal to 0 0.1916 of sine theta and for lambda I will make it a plus b into sine theta where a plus b is equal to 2.54 divided by total number of lines on the grating. In our case it is 12,800 then I get a plus B as 2.54 into divided by 12,800 is equal to 0 0.00019843315. I will multiply this with whatever sine theta value I get. And in order to write the wavelength in angstrom, I know that one angstrom is equal to 10 to the power of minus 10 meter or 10 to the power of minus 8 centimeters and I get my value for lambda. Similarly, I will do it for other colors which I have observed and answer range comes out as for violet it is 3800 angstrom, blue 4317 angstrom, bluish green 4892 angstrom, for green color 5,335 angstrom, yellow one, 5,583 angstrom, red, 6,499 uh, 6, angstrom. And if I want to find the percentage error, I will compare it with the standard values if I have been given and I will find the percentage error as standard minus observed and uh, accordingly, I will find the percentage error if required. If not required, I can leave it. What are the precautions of this experiment that grating should be kept uh, held from its edges and should not be touched by fingers. Grating must be adjusted for minimum deviation carefully. The prism table, telescope, collimator are first adjusted and the grating should be mounted at the center of prism table. And one more thing, the prism table should be leveled properly. So quickly, what did I study today? I studied that I have come to find the wavelength of spectral lines with the help of a grating. The formula used is A plus B sine theta is equal to N lambda where N I have put as 1. A plus B grating element is 2.54 divided by number of lines in the grating. My observation table consists of the colors I observe, their values on the left hand side and right hand side. I subtract their total reading which is equal to main scale reading plus vernier scale reading into least count. I get 2 theta. I divide it by 2 to get theta. And I find the sine of that theta angle and multiply it by 2.54 divided by n to get the value of lambda. Biggest precaution, I should be carefully leveling my prism table or the spectrometer and I should not be touching the grating uh, in order that the surface does not get uh, marks. Thank you.